Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. This video has been prompted by a subscriber who wants to know how to set up a throttle cut that will, throt will cut out once your model reaches a certain altitude. Obviously you'll need a particular receiver to be able to do this um, so that you can uh, get the uh, motor to stop. Now this is used for glider competitions where you, they just power up, climb, and then when they get to a certain altitude, the throttle must cut, cut and you'll not be able to restart the the motor you can if you override it with another switch as i'm going to show you but if you're in altitude cut mode it will just cut the throttle and that's it and you will glide back down even though you go below the the level that the throttle would work it won't rearm again so let's switch over to the radio and i will show you how to program this in edge tx please ensure that you check your model settings thoroughly before arming or flying your model now let me demonstrate the throttle cut working. If you can see the throttle there, uh, which is channel three, you can see it's not working. So I've set up a safe throttle on this so you can't accidentally arm. So if the, the throttle is forward and we arm, nothing's happening on the throttle until we go down for half a second and now it will work. So you would take off your glider and you'll be climbing out and then you'll say, right, I'm gonna switch over to so that's the cut program. So now you can do whatever you want to with the throttle. So we're on full throttle, we get to altitude. Now I've used this knob to simulate the altitude. So I, obviously I can't demonstrate this with a real uh, uh, receiver because uh, I can't adjust its altitude. So I'm pretending this is it. So as soon as I go, throttle now it's disabled. You can see the throttle's disabled and then you would do the yeah, necessary gliding that you need to do until you come to the ground now if if any point you want to take back control with the motor all you would do is flick that switch back here and now it's active again now let's take a look at the settings so we're going to hit the model button we're going to go across and we are first we're just going to go and have a look at the curve we need to set a curve up and you can see the curve there um, let's go and set another one up. If we push enter, we name it, maybe it cut, I would suggest. We can then get rid of, we don't need all those points, we just need two. And you go across until it, you see the change of the icon and then just drag it down. And this is giving us our cut curve. So you go back to the next one and you bring it down. And that's our curve made. Okay, now let's go and look at the logical switches. So this is what does all the switching. And as I said, you can see there on logical switch one, that is where you would select the telemetry for altitude and then dial in the altitude you want it to, uh, to cut. But I'm just using the switch so I could force it to change the, um, the figures so you could see this working. So let's have a look at the um, first line. So we've got A is greater than X, where this would be telemetry altitude. Then you put your you know, um, 200 feet, 300 feet or whatever it is. And then that has to be connected to switch SA in the back position. Okay, so that would be Throttle this one here, as you, as you can Throttle see there. Active. Right, let me come back out. I'm going to the next line. And this is a sticky switch. This is so that the throttle does stay off and doesn't activate again. So we select function sticky. We need V1 is logical switch one. V2 is switch SA in the forward position. And there should be nothing else there. Right, then we got onto the safe throttle part. So we edit that, logical switch three. A is smaller than X where V1 is your throttle stick. That's the actual stick. You can see there, it's not the input, it's the stick. And then V2 is minus 98. And that is it for logical switch three. Logical switch four, let's edit that one, is or logical switch three uh, and logical switch four and switch SE, which is the armed one in the, in the pushed in position. Now this is important. We need that 0.5 delay there. So we have the safe throttle. That's logical switch four covered. Logical switch five is and. Uh, V1 is switch SA forward and the v, V2 is logical switch four. And that's it for that logical switch. And the final one is and not logical switch two. So that is a 
Now that exclamation mark means it's not that switch. So, and V2 is logical switch four and nothing else. That is all our logical switches we need to get this to work. Now let's take a look at the mixes. So we're gonna go down to the throttle. We are gonna to have to add two lines in here. And then the way you do that is you hold down and you say insert after, but we don't need to do that because I've got everything I need there. Right, so we're gonna go into the first mix and it's the input throttle, weight 100%, offset zero, diff zero. And logical switch five is the switch we need to use. Okay, go into the second line. And you can see our source is input throttle, weight 100%, offset zero, diff zero, and now logical switch six. And that's everything there. And then we go into our final one, which is source, input throttle, weight 100%, Offset is zero, uh, but the curve is custom and it's that cut curve that we made. So, and there we go. Our logical switch is not logical switch six, which is that's why it's got the exclamation mark in front of it. And we should be good to go there. Then we go on to special functions. And this is where you play, tr play track. So you pick the switch you want to use, play track, and then pick the track you want to. That's uh, quite simple. Right, is the telemetry. Now you probably already know this if you're uh, flying gliders, but with um, Express LRS, we need to discover the new um, telemetries. And you can see there with this seat receiver that I'm using, the t telemetry alt altitude is on 15. So you would change that in the mix I showed you from being this switch to being that uh, telemetry sensor. Right, and off we go again. Now let's go on to our flight modes and you can see I've put flight modes in there. So I've got flight mode one, I've just put the name in. There is nothing else you need in there. Flight mode one is throttle norm and that's the switch you're saying the forward position. And then flight mode two is, is um, throttle cut, logical switch two activated. And that's it. So if we watch the screen at the front, you can see Right, so we're disarmed, we arm, it's saying throttle normal. If I go to, it, it tells you that you're in altitude uh, cut. And there we go. And there we go. I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.